Well, hello. Thank you for joining me. These are the announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for April 2nd, 2023. This year, we are marking the Sunday of the Passion. Most years we do Palm Sunday, um, and then, you know, on, we have Thursday, Monday, Thursday services where we talk about uh, how Jesus initiated the Lord's Supper, how he had that final Passover meal with his disciples, he washed his disciples' feet, he gave them new commandments to love one another, he prayed with them, they went to the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus prayed, uh, he was betrayed, he was arrested, uh, and then, you know, tried and brutalized. So all of that usually happens on, on Monday, Thursday. Uh, and then uh, we have Good Friday services where we remember the death of Jesus uh, with a tenebrae service, a service that gradually descends into darkness. And then we have Easter Sunday uh, so that the, the, the Christian gets that whole glorious, horrible, awesome uh, ride, that, that whole experience of, of the love of God and the passion of Christ. And, and of course, we offer all of those pieces, right? We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But there are a lot of our brothers and sisters who don't come to those middle pieces. So we go from the joy of Palm Sunday, where Jesus enters Jerusalem and is received as King, as Son of David, to the joy of Easter. And we kind of miss the whole thing. We kind of miss the, the so what. We kind of miss the gift, the love, the grace of God. Uh, so every few years, instead of doing Palm Sunday, on that Sunday before Easter, we do the Sunday of the Passion. And this year, that's what we're doing, uh, that, that if you come to worship services at 8.30 at Peace or 10.15 at Nelsonville, uh, we'll be doing the entire Passion narrative from Matthew's Gospel, uh, and then we'll intersperse it uh, with, with uh, verses of hymns, uh, and there won't be a, a, a sermon proper, just an opportunity for all of us to experience the fullness of what's going on uh, during Holy Week. So you are invited to that. I hope you come. If you can't come, uh, of course, we'll post the video of it and we'll put a, a PDF of the of the lessons and, and songs so that you can sing along. And we, uh, we, we made sure that the songs we chose are public domain uh, so that we can post them uh, and that you can sing them with me uh, in, the, in the privacy of your own house. So that's Sunday, Sunday of the Passion. Of course, we're having Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday services. Uh, there'll be uh, Monday, Thursday services at 2 in the afternoon and at 7 in the evening, both at Nelsonville. Music will start about 15 minutes before the service. Uh, those of you who haven't experienced the, uh, the, can the midweek uh, or Thursday night candlelight services, you'll get at least a taste of it at this, uh, at this uh, Monday, Thursday uh, remembrance service. Uh, communion will be offered. Of course, you can't do Monday, Thursday without communion. Uh, again, 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock at Nelsonville. Think 1.45 and 6.45 uh, for, the, uh, for the actual start times. You want to be there for, for the music, for the whole thing. Uh, but come when you can. Uh, then on Good Friday, uh, we move to peace. Uh, there's nothing happening at Nelsonville on Good Friday. Uh, but, you know, most of you have keys. And so if you want to be in your church on Good Friday, you certainly can. Uh, but the services will be at peace at 8 o'clock, at 10 a service, a gradual descending into darkness uh, as we remember how uh, in killing Christ we vote for, we affirm a desire to uncreate the goodness of creation. And so uh, there's this, this slipping from light into dark, uh, remembering the, the death of Jesus. Uh, it's also got a, a lot of confession in it, a lot of opportunities for us to, to think through together uh, intentionally uh, how we conduct ourselves before a holy God uh, and, uh, and what the price of our disobedience actually is. So that's Good Friday. And then Easter Sunday, uh, we will rejoice together having gone through uh, all of these intermediate steps and all of this remembrance. Uh, we'll rejoice together at the resurrection of our Lord. That's April 9th and service will be in the normal times at the normal churches and we would love to have you uh, come for those. So that might be the longest worship announcement that I have ever made and congratulations for, uh, for getting through it. 
um, prayer list. We don't uh, have anyone currently in the initial stages of, of bereavement. Uh, it's been a month uh, since we uh, since we lost our last member, but you know many of you are still bereaved, uh, and this season where everyone's happy and talking about resurrection uh, can be painful. Just know that you're in my prayers, Pastor Gretchen's prayers, that that we are thinking of you. Uh, and if you'd like to be on the prayer list, uh, let us know. You can be as anonymous as you want to be. Uh, but there are uh, a few new uh, things on the prayer list. Uh, Larry uh, is in ICU. Um, his medicines got messed up and it, it just whacked his blood pressure, something fierce. Uh, so he's up in the ICU. He's doing well. He hopes to be coming home soon. Um, you know, anyone in the ICU hopes to be coming home soon. Uh, but uh, we'll be praying for Larry. Uh, and then, uh, you know, there's just a whole lot of other people here. There's a lot of cancer and a lot of suffering on this list. Uh, and so, I commend all of these people to you, to your prayers, uh, and ask that you would uh, be thinking of them. We have another one of these atrocities, you know, at a school in Tennessee. Um, there is still suffering among our neighbors in Mississippi and Alabama from, from last week's tornadoes. Uh, and of course, there are, being, there are wars being fought uh, here and there around the world. Lots of suffering, lots of grief, and your prayers are appreciated and welcome, uh, and they are a good, good thing. Peace members, um, if you've been driving past the church, you'll see that uh, there's work happening on the roof of the education wing. Our roof failed. Uh, we had part of the ceiling in the library come down, and it is it is a mess. So the insurance company has sent out a structural engineer, and they've sent out an independent appraiser. I don't know if we're going to get anything from the insurance company, but we will be repairing the roof because you can stand in the library and you can see sky, uh, which is a bad, bad, bad thing. So uh, your donations are welcome. We would love to keep this off the church mortgage. We would love to, uh, to avoid that. Uh, right now, what we know is wrong the, the fix uh, and the new roof is going to be at least $105,000. Uh, we know that some of our decking is rotten. Uh, we know that, that, uh, th that we might find things when we pull back the, the membrane that's there. Uh, so that number could well go up, but that's where we are. Uh, and some of you watching this have the ability to make a huge portion of that number go away. Uh, and so I'd like you to pray earnestly about whether or not uh, God's calling you to that. You know, anything that we put on the note, anything we put on the mortgage, uh, means that there's less money to do ministry uh, over the years it takes us to pay down the mortgage. And so I, I want to call you to uh, an exploration uh, of, of your sensibilities of what God would have you do in this situation. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pray about that, would you? And if you can make a gift, make a gift. If you can be very generous, be very generous. The next blood drive is coming up. It's on April 3rd uh, at Peace. That's Monday. Uh, some of you have signed up to bring things. Please remember to, uh, to bring the thing you signed up to bring. Uh, some of you may be coming to bleed. I am grateful for both camps of people and appreciate your generosity uh, to our neighbors, uh, to the world. It's a good and a holy thing. There are a lot of other announcements, but um, I think we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, you are missed, you are loved, and I look forward to hearing from you. Anytime that you text me or, or call uh, is a good day for me. Remember, if you wind up in the hospital, you have to let me know because the hospitals don't tell us anymore. Uh, and Pastor Gretchen and I would love to, uh, to come and pray with you uh, and to visit you if that seems like a good thing to you. Uh, if you're one of these people like me that doesn't want anyone to talk to them when they're sick, you know, uh, you can ask us to pray for you from afar. Uh, Pastor Gretchen won't really understand that, but I will. I'll get it and I'll, I'll keep working on uh, explaining that, you know, I, I don't want people in the same zip code as me when I'm sick. So if that's you, that's cool. Uh, just know that we're here if we can be of service to you. Again, I think that's it. I do wish you well. I wish you a blessed Sunday of the Passion, and I wish you next week a blessed Easter. Bye-bye.